Rico's garage. I'm in the middle of putting the front axle together on the 3 plus 3 and wanted to take an opportunity to show you something that for some reason gives a lot of uh, both experienced mechanics and newbies a hard time. That is replacing universal joints. And the ones I'm going to replace today is the joints in the front axle shafts. These are a little more difficult because all four of the caps are totally enclosed, but it's not that hard. And I, like I say, I don't know why, but it, it seems to give people a lot of trouble. So I wanted to show you a few things, little tips and tricks I've learned over the years. I'm not saying my way is the right way or even the best way. This is just the way I do it, and it works well. So follow me along. Hopefully you can learn something. Let's get some new U-joints in our uh, Dana 44 shafts. Here we have our Dana 44 axle shaft. We're going to be replacing this universal joint inside of here. First thing we want to do, there are four half circle clips, one on each cap. I'm going to start with those. I'm going to use a cold chisel and a hammer. Put your chisel to open up, find you a good spot. Put your chisel on the ring. Tap it off here. That's what you're taking off. Do that on all four caps. All four rings off. We're going to open up our vise where the shaft just sits in there. There you can see the opening of the jaws just barely lets this shaft drop down in here but yeah it holds on to these ears. And then what we're going to want to do is take our hammer and strike right here. Don't be afraid to hit it. Flip it over. Make sure everything's in a good spot. Take that apart. Set this off to the side for now. Take our vise. Close it up a little bit. We're just going to let these these two ears sit on the jaws. Without trying not to tear up our seal ring too bad, we're just going to strike. Now your U joints removed. Before I go to reassemble this thing I want to do is take a piece of uh, emery cloth and just go in here and lightly remove any rust I don't want to machine it by any means this has a lot to do with how easily this will go back together you just take a few minutes this cleaned out. That's not bad. One other thing I also like to do, take a small round file, a small flat file, take a round file, Press 
the inside edge. And then we take our flat file. And you'll see where you got burrs. Round file gets the burrs out of the inside, the flat file makes it nice for the C clip to go back in. That's the stub, we do the same thing on the inner shaft. Now we're ready for reassembly. For this application, we're going to use the Spicer 5-760X U joints. We're putting this in our uh, 81 equipped tow rig build so we want to give this 44 as much of a fighting chance as we can it's not ideal I know but it's what we're going with it's what we have so the least we can do is put the best U joints in it that we can get a hold of so we're going to start pulling off all four bearing caps take our stub shaft we're just going to lay it right here on the table Bearing cap started, keeping light pressure on the cross. Tap that one in place. Very important that you keep pressure on that cross because that's going to keep you from losing your losing your needles. Take a snap ring. You can see, just when we took the time to file and sand that, it just pushes right on. Just drove it home. You notice that way, pretty loose, but that way we're a little stiff. So no, you didn't screw anything up. You just got caps and a little bit of a bind. So what you want to do next is just take right right where we struck it to take it apart. Just give each one a little rack. Lined up. That screws nice and free. Again, see, I hit that cap on purpose to show you it's tight. Loosened up. And that's it. You've just replaced your axle U joints. So, you can see, not that hard of a repair. There's just some things you got to pay attention to. Keep everything lined up. Use a big hammer. Taking it apart. Just beat on it. Don't worry about it. Going back together, just be a little gingerly. Keep tension on your cap to keep your needle bearings from falling out. Clean everything, file it up like I told you. You go right back together. This is this is a good skill to have. If you're doing any kind of wheeling, it's not if you break an axle shaft, it's when. And when you break an axle shaft, you're going to go down the road of replacing with junkyard parts or maybe upgrading to some chrome mollies or whatnot. You don't want to have to pay somebody to do this. 
you go through your trail maintenance like we just did on the YJ earlier, you're probably going to have to replace one of these. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult. You can do this. That's the whole purpose of this channel is to empower you and show you you can do this. So, Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. And I'm going to get back to work. If you got something out there to work on, get off the computer. Go work on it. I'll catch you later.